Hello YouTube and welcome back to another game of Tales of Tribute. Today we're playing against Jack605 and we're going to start off with our tried and true purple. I really cannot stand playing uh, tribute games that don't have a lot of power in them. So, I'm going to uh, pick one that has a lot of draw support and power. Hope you guys are having a good day today. If you guys are new to Tribute and uh, want some pointer videos or some basic overview videos, let me know. These are uh, kind of aimed to be towards people who already understand the game, but uh, if you're looking to get into the game and you're not familiar, let me know. I uh, could maybe make some videos helping educate a little bit and uh, get you guys into the game because I genuinely feel like it is quite a good card game for what it is. A lot of people don't like this game, and I feel like they've genuinely not given it a chance. Um, cool thing about Tribute is um, feels a lot more fair than some games, um, considering you're bringing, you're both bringing two decks to the table for each of you to choose to play, essentially. Whereas other games are. Um, they're not shared decks, you know, you're just going up against somebody who has like a ton of power, or mom's credit card, you know, and they're hard to beat. So, um, not always the most fun card games out there, but something about this one I thoroughly enjoy. If you're looking to get into Tribute, even if you just want to, you know, buy ESO just to play Tribute, and you want to just get ESO High Isle so you can do so, and you're here to learn, welcome you already play welcome and uh, if you have no idea what you're watching welcome feel free to ask questions and let's see how we do here we're already getting some good cards we've got two protocols i don't know why i went with them early it just didn't seem like there was a lot uh available he's gonna buy this agent we're gonna go ahead and knock it out we want to save our power and we're just gonna continue to two coin here I don't need a lot of cards even anymore. I need to get something like this. I'd really love for them to buy anything but that. Or they can buy the card that I didn't want them to buy. That's cool too. I think we're going to parody this with a little bit of purple. Or parody this? Parallel it? Parallel this? Parallel this. Uh, we're not going to get a purple card next. We don't want to sell anything. We could black draw just to get one going. That'd be cool. Yeah, I like that. Um, is there anything we don't want them to have? They could combo with purple on us, but it could open the board up with something else. And I'm okay with getting rid of one card if they combo this anyways. It's whatever. We just get rid of the one gold. So they can they can purchase it. Go for it. See, so, yeah, I mean, we would have we would have gotten rid of Barter, and then they would have been able to buy that Midnight Raid, and then they would have been able to buy that anyways. They would have gotten literally the exact same combo, no matter what we did there. So I think we're just going to buy this ourselves. See if we can't hit a little something-something, which we do. Um, You know, we don't have a lot of purple cards at all. I think we just take advantage here and we go up. We don't want them to catch up. Let's get rid of that. Oh my god, what did I do that for? Um, They're only going to be able to buy one. Which is cool. Um, They're spending power to draw more cards, which is interesting. I don't know how much of that I would be doing in their position personally. We are going to buy this defensively. Um, because we really don't want them to get it. We need to get back to our power as quick as possible. So let's get rid of that. And get as many cards shuffling through our deck as possible right now. Beautiful. I love this. We're going to get a nice gold turn. Uh, next here. Ooh, we're going to be able to buy this. This is beautiful for us. We're going to be able to destroy a card. And we're going to be able to sell it and go up on power this turn. I love that. And we should get a nice, strong red hand coming up soon. Ooh, our next hand is so good. And we're going to sell Murder of Crows with the Gold Patron. 
They're doing a little draw support here, trying to get a combo going. Uh, that's a nice card. Briarheart is helping them chop on down. They might want to go for custom seizure, but they don't. They want to go for that, which I totally understand. Seven. We have seven gold also. Um, I really don't think we need that. We're just going to get rid of it because the goal here is to just spend, you know, get as much power as quickly as possible before they start comboing with this stupid purple deck they have. Awesome. That could not have been better for us. This was a great card that, oh no, they're going to draw. Don't get purple. Oh no. Uh-oh. Actually, I'd rather, I'd almost rather it happen now, except... Okay, they didn't get that much for that. That that was actually pretty good for us. Their deck's scary, man. They got a lot of draw support. They can do a lot of scary stuff with it. We're not going to turn. We're going to do that. And we're going to buy ourselves another card. So we can sell it if we need to. Uh, they have to get 21 points here, which they very easily could. If they don't get a purple card here, they're going to get a lot of purple cards here, which is not cool for us. They already have eight... Six. Oh, no. No. Oh, they spent their gold, though. What are they doing? What are they doing? They had us with, with, uh, gold patron. Or, um, purple patron. What are they doing, man? All they had to do is just spend that gold on Purple Patron, and they would have tied us and beaten us. Now they have to turn Purple Patron to even get close, and they're only going to get 17. They're only going to go to 39. Was that? Are they just not paying attention? I mean, I guess they're going to. They're still going to go over, but like, man, I feel like they could have. Uh, they could have just hit us so big, but they didn't. Jack, what you doing? Missing out on an opportunity there. Kind of felt like the game got handed to us there. In the end, I, I was almost like ready to duke it out. But um, they just didn't see the play and just didn't use Purple Patron. So we'll take that, I guess. GG, Jack. Another 110 points back up towards Rubidite as we slowly enjoy our climb back to our original ranks. All right, guys. Hope you're enjoying the tribute videos. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take care.